Electric bikes today are still perceived by many as overpriced toys that have a limited range and can only boast great linear acceleration and a significantly higher torque parameter compared to regular gas bikes. The torque comes instantly too. Even though the number of e-bike critics remains high, there are many riders who have faith in the future of electrified two-wheelers and think that the future is bright at least in some market segments. For example, dirt bike segment. In today's video, we will take a look at the newest dirt e-bike models and see how close they are to defeating their ICE counterparts. Graft E 0.12 It's been almost two years since we heard about Graft Electric Vehicles, an e-mobility company from Taiwan that announced plans to develop a lineup of advanced trail riding machines. It seems that an electric dirt bike will be the first model from this lineup to hit the market since Graft EV has made the biggest progress with it. While most electric vehicles are significantly heavier than their ICE counterparts, Graft wanted to minimize this drawback by employing aggressive weight reduction. The company resorted to the use of 21-inch carbon fiber wheels and 3D printed titanium parts that keep the weight low. Despite this, there is enough rigidity to handle bikes immense torque output of 325 pound-feet. The unified weight reduction approach helped to achieve the weight of 110 pounds and class leading torque to weight ratio. The high torque powertrain has the peak power output of 33.5 horsepower and yields the limited top speed of 50 miles per hour. Considering the bike's weight, we didn't expect to see a large capacity battery. It's a hot swappable unit with 2.7 kilowatt hours of capacity, good for 3 hours of riding at lower speeds. The battery recharging time could take as little as 90 minutes. If you missed your chance to buy the limited edition cake buck dirt bike last year, then you were in luck. After successfully selling out of the initial limited run of 50 units, the company decided to make a similar bike available to everyone this year. Unlike with a limited edition that had fixed specifications, with this model, you will receive multiple customization options that would help you adapt the bike's powertrain and suspension components to your riding preferences. In terms of performance, you can opt in for the Buck Power Light or Buck Super Light. The Power Light features an 11.40 horsepower motor with 17.5 horses of peak output and 270 pound feet of torque at the wheel. With this motor, you can sprint from 0 to 28 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds and count on the 50 mile per hour top speed. As for the Super Light version, it offers a power boost to 14.7 horsepower of nominal output. 21.5 horsepower of peak output. The wheel torque grows too. It's measured at 336 pound feet, thus letting you accelerate from 0 to 28 miles per hour in 2.15 seconds and enjoy the top speed of 55 miles per hour. Besides the powertrain components, you choose between three different suspension sets by Olins, WP, and Formula. Finally, riders can opt in for a street legal package or stick to a purely off road version. Regardless of the modification, you are getting a 72 volt 40 amp hour battery pack good for 43 miles of mixed enduro riding. Luckily, the battery is hot swappable and needs just 3 hours of recharging. Sir Ron Ultra B This year, Sir Ron have announced a new addition to their model roster. The newest Sir Ron Ultra B is here to fill the space between a least powerful Light B and the most buffed up Storm B motocross bike. Compared to the brand's most popular Light B bike, the Ultra B grows in size. Its seat height is 35.8 inches now, gets a performance boost and increased off-road capabilities. With this new two-wheeler, the riders are getting the Sir Ron's fourth generation powertrain with a PMSM motor and a 74 volt 55 amp hour lithium ion battery pack. The motor has three power settings and a button activated reverse gear. The sport mode brings the full potential of the motor, 16.7 horsepower and 325 pound feet of torque to be exact. However, the Eco is geared towards sparing the battery charge. It is reported that in the Eco mode, this 187 pound motorbike could go for up to 87 miles at speeds below 25 miles per hour. Besides the powertrain upgrade, the new model brings a regen feature for both the motor and braking system. 
off-road traction control system, and throttle sensitivity settings. As for other noteworthy components, Ultra B has a forged aluminum alloy frame and a swing arm, a 37mm inverted fork, a TR intersect rear monoshock with 240mm of travel, 19-inch wire-spoked rims, hydraulic disc brakes, and a digital LCD dash. How do you like these dirt e-bikes so far? Which aspects keep you from getting one of these? Is it power, range, or buying price? Share your thoughts below and let's continue. Apollo RFN Apollo RFN is one of the most recent electric dirt bikes unveiled to the public. It is sold in three distinct variations, Rally, Endurance, and Road. Each version has a set of specific gear and powertrain components to satisfy a distinct purpose, be it dirt trail riding or city commuting. In its Rally version, the bike features a 6.7 horsepower e-motor, a removable 74-volt, 35-amp-hour battery pack, front and rear four-piston hydraulic disc brakes, an upside-down suspension fork with 200 millimeters of travel, a fully adjustable rear monoshock, and a set of wire-spoke rims with 19 inches of diameter in the front and 18 inches in the rear. This setup brings the overall weight to 150 pounds. The motor has three power settings. The tortoise mode is limited to 15 miles per hour and lets you travel up to 100 miles on a charge, while the rocket mode gives you maximum output of 16.76 horsepower and 225 pound-feet of wheel torque. In the most demanding power mode, the bike would go for about one hour. Each model is equipped with a 10-amp charger that could restore 2,590 kilowatt hours of capacity in three hours. Finally, if you are into trials riding, the seats of the Apollo RFN could be easily removed, thus unveiling a trial-style geometry underneath. Talaria Sting R Over the past years, interest toward lightweight dirt bikes has grown significantly, thanks to such low-priced models as Sure Ron or Enduro-style e-bikes. As a result, more manufacturers are trying to satisfy the newly created demand with their value-for-money models. In an effort to spark the competition with Sure Ron, Talaria has recently announced the Sting R, a model that is said to have twice the power more range, and a series of other engineering improvements, while retaining a competitively low price. Talaria Sting R is already available in the UK, Europe, and Canada through authorized resellers, while the US sales are handled by Lunacycle. Lunacycle claimed that their dyno testing of Sting R yielded a 7.39 horsepower output. However, other retailers are showing lower performance figures. This may be caused by the fact that this dirt bike is factory limited to 1.34 horsepower and 20 miles per hour in order to make it road legal in some parts of the world. Considering that dirt trail riding is the primary application for this model, most riders would temporarily remove these limiters and enjoy the 52 mile per hour top speed in off-road conditions. Other factors that can make Sting R one of the best value e-bikes of today include high quality full suspension system, Powerful four-piston brakes with 230mm rotors and four levels of regenerative braking. The use of a gearbox instead of a belt drive. 60-volt, 45-amp-hour battery pack that supports fast charging and is good for up to 50 miles of riding. Solar Eclipse Solar Eclipse is the brand's first attempt to switch from the production of electric scooters to dirt bikes. The newcomer has an all-carbon fiber frame construction, fully adjustable KKE suspension, motorbike-grade hydraulic brakes, and 19-inch wheels. The bike's min-mounted PMSM motor transfers 10.7 horsepower of peak output to the rear wheel via a chain drive, thus letting you sprint from 0 to 30 miles per hour in just 3.6 seconds. Thanks to the bike's overall weight of 138 pounds, you'd be able to reach the top speed of 60 miles per hour. When hooked up to a fully charged 72-volt, 45-amp-hour battery pack, Solar Eclipse would cover distances between 50 and 70 miles. The bike's standard equipment includes a 10-amp charger that could top up the battery in less than 4 hours. Solar Eclipse also boasts a rich technological package that includes a large LCD screen, turn signals, running and main beam lights, 
a horn, as well as a brake indicator. When riding this dirt bike, the LCD display will let you extract the maximum performance by providing the most important data, including battery charge level, volts that are currently being drawn, RPM indicator, as well as the motor temperature. Volcon Grunt Evo Even though Volcon Grunt Evo is not a dirt bike in a traditional understanding, it was created to pursue a similar purpose, tackle dirt trails and have a lot of fun while doing so. This 285-pound machine is based on an exo-arch frame that incorporates a 10.7 horsepower motor, one standard and one auxiliary pack with 2.3 kilowatt hours of capacity each. The motor output is transferred to the rear wheel via a Gates carbon belt drive system that is known for its near-silent operation. The performance that you can expect from this motor would max out at about 40 miles per hour. Volcon Grunt Evo is rolling on a set of wheels wrapped in iconic balloon tires. The two-wheeler is suspended by a rear coil over shock with preload adjustability by Walker Evans Racing and a 43mm inverted front fork. The bike's standard 2.3 kilowatt hour battery could keep the good times going for about 35 miles. If you decide to install an additional battery unit, you would get an estimated range of 70 miles. The remaining range, speed, chosen ride mode, as well as other important bike alerts are shown on the bike's rounded color display. BHR E-Race when developing their new electric enduro motorcycle, the creators of BHR E-Race wanted to use the best components and engineering solutions from traditional motorcycle manufacturers in order to combine them with a battery electric powertrain. As a result, we can see the use of a chassis similar to traditional Japanese ICE enduros and a four-speed transmission with a clutch, which are not inherent to modern electric dirt bikes. The model is suspended by an HT 48mm fork and an HT shock. It is rolling on 21-inch wheels up front and 18-inch wheels in the rear. The stopping power comes courtesy of Nissan brakes. At 273 pounds, BHR E-Race is on the heavier side of the e-motorcycle spectrum. However, this two-wheeler features a large capacity 80-volt, 60-amp-hour battery and an e-motor that pushes out 30 horsepower at 7,000 RPM. With 4,800 watt-hours of capacity, this lithium battery can last for 80 miles at an average speed of 15 miles per hour. A faster riding pace would discharge the battery much faster. However, the manufacturer includes a 10-amp charger that could restore full charge in 3.5 hours. Flux Motorcycles Primo like many other e-mobility manufacturers, Flux Motorcycles makes great emphasis on smart tech, innovative materials, and engineering solutions in order to create the next generation of motocross bikes. The list of most important innovations includes a lightweight, high RPM motor with water cooling and a single-speed two-stage transmission. Weighing just 17 pounds, this motor provides a performance similar to 450cc bikes, 85 horsepower to be exact. 147 pound-feet of torque at the shaft and 553 pound-feet at the wheel. A water-cooled battery pack with hot swapping capabilities. This battery powers a 450 volt system, uses a unique thermal control technology, and packs 7 kilowatt hours of capacity while weighing just 75 pounds. A cutting-edge vehicle control unit with six different parameters for actuating the motor's performance. Besides the power controls, the bike's app lets you track lap times, activate regenerative braking, and digitally lock the motorbike when it's not in use. Since the model is still in pre-production stage, you cannot see the full picture. However, we already know that Primo will get a lightweight aluminum frame, a 48mm fully adjustable fork by KYB, and a TTX rear shock by Olin's. Daymac Combat E-Bike Fat tire electric motorbikes have been gaining popularity across Canadian wilderness, but Daymac went even further and decided to create a model that allowed potential owners to ride in all weather conditions. As standard, the new Combat E-Bike comes as a typical all-terrain two-wheeler, which relies on a mid-mounted 19-horsepower electric motor, full suspension, and knobby rubber. 
The snow kit included into the asking price allows us to swap the wheels for a snow bike rear track and a front ski. Daymax says that the whole conversion will require 60 minutes and a bit of technical expertise. A zero emission bike is wired to a removable 4.8 kilowatt hour battery pack, good for 50 miles of range. The top speed is limited to 44 miles per hour, though the company has not mentioned if these numbers are valid for the snow kit. Year by year, electric dirt bikes are getting better. But we wonder how long it will take manufacturers to make better batteries that could give us at least 300 miles of range. Well, we just have to wait and see. But be sure, once such bikes are invented, you are sure to learn about them from automotive territory. Have a nice one, and may the torque be with you.